Hello friends, okay here I am coming at you with a request to do an individual review or my impression of my weapons one-on-one. -on -one. So the first one I chose to utilize is the Smith & Wesson Model 500 ES. Now here's an example of a pistol that I bet you guys wish you would have purchased when it was available because it is no longer available. And imagine if you had a weapon from the 1800s from your great-grandfather who, who was a cowboy somewhere out in Kansas or Texas and he left this heirloom down to the, through the family and you had some Smith revolver from the 1860s. It'd be pretty cool. That's kind of like what this is going to be in 100, 150 years from now. It's an heirloom that you can leave on through your family because they no longer make it anymore. Of course they make the Smith & Wesson 500s and 4 inch barrels and larger but they do not make the snub nose which is uh, less than 3 inches. And a lot of guys say and of course I'm straight shooter, straight shooter you know why would you get such a massive round with such a small snub nose why, why wouldn't you get the longer version? And I'm going to give you all those answers here in a moment but the reason is the snub nose is for self-defense. That is my first priority for this weapon. A lot of people say, well, I'm looking at that and it says it's for bear attacks or it's for big game hunting. Yes, that's all true. I'm not an advocate of, of killing animals. I respect the fact if you guys or gals are hunters and that's your hobby or if that's what you're really into, that's okay. Thumbs up. Go for it. It's okay. But that's just not my thing. My thing is self-defense and collectability of my weapons and the fun of shooting them. So with all that said, we're going to talk more about that in a moment. Let's talk about this revolver. Let me pull it out. I got Mr. Straight Shooter filming. This is a gorgeous piece of craftsmanship. Just absolutely gorgeous. And to hold this in your hand and to hear these clicks, It's just amazing. The weight of this X-Frame is amazing. The grips are similar to hold grips. It, it, it helps withstand the recoil, which you know what? That's a lot of hoopla that this has so much recoil. Maybe because I'm 6'4", 250. I've shot this gun dozens of times. Ah, it pops up a little bit. It's fun. It shoots a four-foot flame. Shoot this at night, you get a four-foot flame, three feet high. We're going to talk about that for self-defense. And I've seen other reviews on this weapon, and they talk about the kit. Let's zoom in on this kit right now. And this is marketing. And i got to give a lot of respect and thumbs up to Smith & Wesson for the marketing of this particular version of this 500 Magnum. This is all like hoopla stuff that doesn't really mean much to you. The book, Bear Attacks of the Century. I've read two or three of the chapters. It's like what to do if a bear is attacking, you know, what to, how to sleep and how to prepare your food and how to hide your food. And that's all, it's, it's great marketing. I'm in the financial planning arena. I respect marketers. This gun was sold on the concept of bear attacks. It gives you two emergency blankets. You know, it gives you this really cool knife from the uh, Extreme Ops um, version of Smith & Wesson. And it gives you ways to make a fire and, and a little silly thing, a little compass there. And, a, and a, it gives you a little, there's a little saw in there to cut wood, you know, in case you're stranded in the woods. Of course, we all have better tools than that. You're not buying this kit for all the little gadgets that come free with it. You're buying it for the nicest piece of craftsmanship of a revolver probably, possibly ever made. And now it's not for sale anymore. You can buy the bigger ones, grab the 4-inch while they're still selling them. They're about $1,200, I believe. So I'm going to talk to you now about some stats on this weapon. It's a 5-shot double-action revolver. And it's built in the largest frame that Smith makes, the X-Frame. And Smith claims it is the most powerful production revolver in the world today. And the key word there is production revolver. And it is. It's, it's just, the stats are incredible on it. It'll, it'll shoot with a 350 grain bullet at 1,975 feet per second, generating a muzzle energy of over 3,000 
foot-pounds of force. I mean, that's just incredible. This is just a cannon. And what I like about this, besides the craftsmanship and just holding it, is if I'm a convenience store clerk, or if I'm in a business that's a jewel, like a jewelry store, and I got cash on hand, and I'm a, I'm a target for being held up and robbed, and I'm in South Florida, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, and in these, these cities, Boynton Beach, Delray, even Boca, we're seeing armed robberies left and right. We're seeing cops being killed left and right. If I'm going to work in a situation where I have to defend myself, and even Smith promotes it on their website as a self-defense weapon. It is a self-defense weapon. How about the fact if two hoodlums are coming into the convenience store, remember I'm an advocate, get away, run away, let 911, let the police do their job. I'm not advocating violence. I'm trying to say if you're in a pickle and your life is in danger, someone else's life is in danger, you might as well have the most power you can get in your hands in a small package. And you know, of course, we can put a, a, a semi-automatic. I know I'll get the emails. Well, you can have a Glock 30, and, and I have all those weapons. We'll talk about them one-on-one. -on -one. I'm just talking about this. Why would I want this for self-defense? It's an unfor uh, un ungodly reason I would ever want to use this weapon. Heaven forbid, I have to protect my life. Think of if there's two people coming at me. Two. I'm in a convenience store. Two people coming at me. I'm behind the counter, and this is what I got in my hidden spot. One shot of this. The sound effect alone will deafen everybody in there, particularly the bad guys, and hopefully that second bad guy will go running. The flame that comes out of this, the intimidation factor is huge. So it's marketed, point over there, honey, it's marketed for big game, and of course it's good at that. Actually it says it can kill anything walking on the planet. Um, so. Yes, that's one reason to have it. The second reason, self-defense. You know, I've got a lot of weapons. This is not going to be my carry choice. But if I'm in the store and I'm got, uh, I have a weapon under my counter, this might be my weapon of choice for intimidation factor and to make sure I get the job done with one shot to save my life. There's been four or five convenience store clerks murdered in South Florida, and this is uh, March of 2011. And since since New Year's, so it's real. It happens. You got to protect yourself. This is a great self-defense weapon. But more importantly, the number one reason to own this is for collectability. I mean, come on, it's not made anymore. Of course, they make the four-inch. Like I said, I'm so glad I purchased this. I, I'm going to get questions as what I paid. I, I think it was about twelve to fifteen hundred dollars. I don't remember, but I'm glad I have it. And I have it for life now. My children will have it. It's like an heirloom. It's going to go down through the centuries. And of course, this never rusts if you take care of it, and it's, it's there forever.